Hey there, this is Cameron with Superfly, and today I'm going to take you through our new SOS uh, Simple Overlay Solution plugin. This is a plugin that's going to let you build custom pop ups or overlays using the Divi Builder. And you'll be able to trigger those on a click of any element or uh, automatically after a time delay. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. I have a sample Divi site set up here, I'm just using one of their pre built layouts. And what I'm going to try to do today is make a pop-up appear when I click the Register Now button. So the first thing you need to do is obviously install the plugin, and you're going to have to activate it with your license key. I've already done both of those things, so you can see I have the Divi SOS plugin here. It's already activated. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is import the sample layouts that we include as part of the plugin. So I'll go to Divi and click this new SOS menu item here. Currently there are none. Uh, but I'm going to import the JSON file that came with the plugin. And that's going to give you, I believe, five layouts that you can choose from. And you can use those as is or customize them as you need to. Um, or I'll also show you quickly here how to just create your own from scratch. Um, so here's the five that it came with, and that's what I'm going to use for the demo. But if you do want to create your own, You'll just click Add New, give it whatever name you want, make sure that the layout type is set to Layout, and then make sure it's assigned to the SOS Layouts category. And that's going to give you your own brand new, fresh layout that you can just build using the Divi Builder that you know and love. So for this example, I'm going to work on this Demo 3 here. So if I click that one, it's going to open it in the Divi Builder. Now one quick note here, um, if you get a forever spinning wheel here, you may need to go into your settings and permalinks and just save those permalinks again. Uh, there's a little bug I believe with Divi um, or, or something with our plugin that we're still working on, um, but it's a quick fix. Just save your permalinks if you see a, a constant spinning wheel here. Okay, so here's the um, layout that I'm going to work with or the overlay that I'm going to work with. Uh, and you'll see, because it is tagged to that Divi SOS category, you get this new box here to the right that has some options in it. Um, so once you create your layout, you can t play with some of these options here. The first thing, uh, that, that's just the link that you're going to need to use uh, to actually attach to your button to trigger this overlay. So I'll go ahead and copy that for now. Um, the other options are pretty self-explanatory. You have the option to show this pop-up automatically after a certain number of milliseconds. Um, so in this case it'd be one second, uh, but I'm going to turn that off for now. Uh, if you do have that on, you can also uh, enable a cookie, uh, which is going to make the pop-up only appear once every 30 days. Um, then you get into the transition. We have either a fade in, a slide down, or just no transition. It'll just instantly appear. Um, as far as background goes, you can do a dark background or a light background. Um, but your section actually does fill the width of the screen and the height of the screen. So if you apply a section background, that is going to take over this choice anyway. So what I normally do is set a, a transparent background on the section and then just use darker light here. Um, you'll see a little loader when I go to the uh, example. That's just going to be like a little spinner while the layout's loading. Um, so you can choose if you want that to be darker light based on your background. And then you can assign your close button. Um, first of all, whether or not you want one, and then if so, what you want the color to be and what you want the background to be. So these are all preset already from our layout, so I'm going to just copy that again, and I'll just save this. And now I'm going to go edit that actual home page uh, that has the button that I want to attach this layout to. So again, it's this button here that I want to trigger our new overlay. So if I edit this page, I'll just use the Visual Builder. and I go edit that button. I'm going to use the link that I copied. I'm going to use that link that I copied and just paste it right here on the URL. Again, this can be pasted anywhere you can add a URL, which Divi now allows on sections, I believe, and rows and columns, um, and, and obviously buttons or images, so really a lot of flexibility there. So now that I've pasted in that URL, I'll click the check mark to save it. I'll save this layout, or this page, and I'm going to go view the page. 
So there's the loader and there's our pop-up. So in this case, it looks like the section itself actually has its own background. Um, and then we, we, that, like I said, overtakes the background of the actual um, overlay. Here's our close button. And once you load that once, you won't see the loader anymore. That's just on that first load, so we don't preload all these images uh, when this page is first loaded. That's to help with speed and load times. And that's really it. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. You can take that and run with it. Again, uh, start maybe with our first sample five layouts um, and, and tweak those as you want, and then go ahead and create your own. And, I'm anxious to see what you create with this plugin. Of course, if you need any help, reach out to our support team. We'll be quick to help you. And if you have any feature requests, we love to hear those because uh, we're always going to be improving this plugin. Thanks a lot and good luck.